This marsh is an extremely dynamic environment. Um, it, the the boundary changes every day, every month, every year. There's you know we've we've got areas like this that are accreting um, and and building up. This is an area of marsh where we stood now that you know we'd have been ankle to knee deep in water 10 or 15 years ago um, and the the rivers would have been much closer there wouldn't have been as much sand here it would have been a much lower level certainly wouldn't have had any of this um, forage that's that's around us we've equally other areas of the marsh where we've lost ground and things have eroded and it's it's a completely changing landscape we're a really important wading bird habitat out here and a lot of the the grazing management that we do and the livestock that we have in in the habitats here is we work very closely with Natural England to make sure the two things work hand in hand and the reason this is such a good habitat, the reason why this is evolving and accreting and building is because we're grazing animals here. It's around two and a half thousand acres um, of salt marsh, it will get all of that will get completely covered at some point during the year, um, mostly in winter when the, the rivers are higher and the tides are higher. Um, and then we graze um, livestock out here, cattle and sheep, um, and use that grazing to manage the, the wildlife, the, the breeding birds and wading bird habitats out here and uh, tie all that into our, our farming system. The sheep and cattle that come out here will stay out here all summer. Once a month um, in the cycle of the tides, which is tied in with the, the moon cycles, we'll have a, a high tide that will cover some areas of the marsh, so um, we'll pull the sheep off and it's at that point we've got to gather the marsh anyway, we'll get them in, weigh fat lambs, pull anything that's fat and send it away to market um, and then turn everything back out again, pull again in another month's time. But um, everything's out here day or night, um, we're out here twice a day in between ties checking to make sure nothing's stuck in quicksand is right out on the sands you know they can it's six miles out from the marsh bank into where we are now to the point of the marsh with another sort of five or six miles right out to where the two rivers meet on the sands um, if we've got some stupid sheep or cattle that have decided they want to be out on the sands and the, the tide's coming in later on that night we'll we'll come right out here shove them back in onto what we call the old marsh um, which is uh, slightly higher and more established, thicker grass sward on it. Um, shove them in behind there. Tide will come up and down before they come back out again onto this this new ground, which is full of more pioneering grass species that are perhaps a bit sweeter. There's uh, more often get covered by the the sand and silt. So we wonder whether there's some sort of effect of putting salt on your chips. Whether it, you know, it tastes nicer. There's a bit of sodium out here, and it's some, maybe some mineral effects going on for them. Um, we don't really know the full ins and outs of it. We're, we're looking into it at the minute, trying to do bits of trials and nutritional analysis. And we've taken grass samples from here in different places and, and tried to run them through. Um, it doesn't necessarily follow the same calibration curves as a standard NIR for ryegrass. So there's a, a bit, bit of a question there on, on nutrition, but we'll have store cattle out here doing around 0.7 to 0.8 kilos a day. Uh, we'll bring them back into the fattening sheds after that and we seem to get fantastic compensatory growth and some sort of uh, room and priming effect from all the, the different forages that are out here that when we put them onto a forage based finishing ration we're seeing we'll ration for 1.3 kilos we'll probably get an average of 1.5 some individuals doing 2 or 2.5 kilos a day so it's a fantastic efficiency boost to us which we directly attribute to having been out on this marsh.